Yo, before I start the video, I just want to tell you that 80% of you guys are not subscribed. And subscribing is free and it helps out the channel a lot. And if you guys subscribe, it will mean the world to me. Um, as well, liking the video and putting on post notifications. Also, use code cough in a Fortnite shop before buying any cosmetics. And um, thank you guys for supporting me and enjoy the video. Hey, yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to um, get less ping and, you know, improve your ping in general. Because, um, you know, um, Nintendo Switch ping is complete dog sh you know, Before I start the video, make sure you guys like and subscribe. And um, let's just get right into the video. Peace out. Alright, so now I jump in creative and I'm going to tell you all the tips now in a bit. Um, but before you start, this is my before ping. And I'm going to show you the after ping after I do all these tips. The ping after. And I'm just going to show it on the screen right now. guys saw my ping improved dramatically and now uh, yeah let's jump into the first tip right now all right so the first tip i want to tell y'all it's basically um putting your router as close um to your console or nintendo switch or the other way around putting your switch as close as to your router that's good if you don't want to use um ethernet cable and it gives you a way more stable connection so yeah if you can try to do that if you have a longer um internet cable like to your router and try to uh, put your router closer to your Nintendo Switch. Now, like that would make your connection way more stable. And uh, yeah, and yeah, that was for the first step. Let's go on the next step. All right. So the next thing I want to be talking about is uh, physical barriers. That's basically uh, you don't want to have any books or walls blocking your router. So basically, you don't ha want to have anything in front of your router to block your connection because that will make your connection way more unstable. Um, as well, a quick tip, you want to have your router at the same height as your Nintendo Switch because that will boost your ping by a bit, so yeah. So basically what I'm trying to say, your router shouldn't be too uh, too far uh, up or below. Uh, so just try to keep it at the same height as your Nintendo Switch and uh, it will improve your ping. The next thing I want to be talking about is Ethernet cables. So basically, if you can afford your like ten dollars in spare, you can basically buy Ethernet cable um, on Amazon or any other website, and that will offer a direct direct connection from your um, router to your Nintendo Switch, and that can improve your internet speed dramatically. You might ask yourself, what is the best Ethernet cable to get? Because you know we got Cat Five, Cat Six, Cat Seven, and Cat Eight, and in my opinion, Cat Six um, is the best Ethernet cable to get because you know many pros use that one. But you might also wonder how do you plug the Ethernet cable in the Nintendo Switch? So basically, you need an Ethernet to USB 3. Um, keep on, I'm gonna put it, the picture on the screen right now. Um, so yeah, that also costs like ten dollars. So you have to get that to get Ethernet on your Nintendo Switch. But yeah, let's go on the next step. The next step I want to be talking about. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be talking about is basically about the time and that time matters and when you play because all right so here I'm gonna put a daily graph about the internet traffic on North America and Europe as you see at 12 a.m. on Europe that's the lowest point uh, for internet traffic so that's the point that you would get the best ping uh, on Europe and um, on North America uh, that's the red line as you see at 6 a.m. that's the lowest point for North America that the people use uh, the internet so basically what that means is basically if, um, at, when people come home from the evening more people use the internet than in the morning basically you got to go to your settings um, go to system settings go to internet and go to internet settings when you're here go to your internet uh, go to change settings and then you need to go to DNS settings click manual manual and then put your DNS so I'm basically gonna show two DNS that will be your internet by a lot the first one I'm gonna show is the Cloudflare DNS and the second one is the Google DNS
So this right here is um, Cloudflare DNS and that can help you a lot. Or right, now I'm gonna show the Google DNS. And this is Google DNS. One of these DNS should help your internet speed by a lot. And the next quick tip is right here. Go to MTU and change this to 1500. And click save. But the only true way to getting better ping is paying for better internet or living close to the Fortnite servers. But this tips will help you improve your gameplay and, and uh, I suggest doing them as well. Although I don't live close to Fortnite servers, I still get under um, 30 ping all, almost all the time. End of the video, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, you know, make sure you guys subscribe and like if uh, you guys haven't. Uh, you know, use code club in a Fortnite shop and peace out. Love y'all.